Uh, hi, Francois. This is Pasquale Stelteri of Pedal Mag. Congratulations on yesterday's stage win. Thank you. That's uh, absolutely incredible. Can you describe the emotion for us? <laughs> well, the, the emotion, of course, is, uh, is the biggest win of my career, so it's, it's going to change the path of my career, I think. So, uh, really, uh, already today, you know, in the Peloton, uh, guys were having a lot more respect. I got a lot of... Uh, Riders, different teams that uh, came up to me in the peloton to congratulate me and tell me that I did a good job and that it was impressive what the team did. You know, all the teamwork was perfect. So, uh, really, the emotion was uh, I cannot really describe it. I was I was on the cloud. You know, it was I was like. Phew. That's amazing, and you know, you, you deserve it. Um, across Canada, I think every cycling fan is, is talking about it still today. I really missed the opportunity and uh, I, I got to tell you yesterday I was uh, in a really uh, good mood and really high and all happy and today I'm really disappointed. That's part of racing. You still placed very well today and you know you beat a lot of, of top riders. Uh, but yesterday, I mean, you positioned yourself perfectly at the end of the race. Uh, you delivered. Actually, my teammate positioned me, like me in the perfect. There's mm -hmm. no way I could have done that by myself. It was uh, mm -hmm. really the team. Uh, the team support was incredible. Well, it is a team sport, and you did. You delivered. A, I mean, a great sprint <laughs> at the end. I know the team put you there tactfully. I mean, sitting there and waiting for the right moment. I mean, it was uh, picture perfect, really. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I really change. Um, I really change uh, the way that uh, I'm, I'm seeing cycling now, and the way I'm racing, and the way I use my my energy. You know, uh, part of that was uh, because of my uh, really bad injury and, and the really bad uh, moment that I had. You know, uh, one year ago at this mm -hmm. time, you know, in March, mm -hmm. uh, I was in a depression, and I I was I consult. You know. Sport uh, psychologist and talk to a lot of people and uh, you know now now I, I see a little bit uh, the cycling of my life and also cycling in a different way than I was and you know I'm I'm more uh, how could I say that I'm more stable I would mm -hmm. say maybe <laughs> well th that's good to hear I mean Francois if we go back approximately a year ago. Uh, you're placing eighth at the Grand Prix de Saint Martin. Uh, quite a contrast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, yeah, I was just starting to come back, and I still had pain in my knee at that point, and uh, I was really working hard, you know, to fix that. So. Uh, no, well, you did a great job. Yeah, I, I just wanted to add that. Uh, I really think I really want to thank uh, Paulo Saldana. Um, you know. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him, he's the, the owner of Parawatch, the Parawatch Studios and the system yeah. of Parawatch and really um, Paulo took me under his wing and really, uh, you know, dig me out of the hole. I was really, really in a deep hole, you know, back one year ago I was not doing good at all and uh, he really is the person that uh, really uh, helped me, you know, getting out of that really deep darkness hole and um, I build up, you know, everything with him. He, 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 we started from scratch, you know, mm -hmm. started to look from from uh, every, every aspect as possible, you know, uh, physically, mentally, you know, tactically and every time, you know, so that's why, you know, I really evolved, I think, as, as a writer but also as a person and, um, I'm really thankful for that, and I, I really want to mention that it's really important for me. Well, we hear a lot of good things about Power Watts, and si since you're on the subject of you know depression and and whatnot, uh, before I ask you to describe the the race a little bit, um, look, Francois. I mean, I've been following your career for quite a while. You were Canadian champion in 2005. Uh, I believe your first pro team was with Garmin. National Championship, Jonathan Valdres gave me a phone call and okay. uh, I had a contract five minutes later. Okay, so, so since then, I mean, there was a little bit of a, of a low point, you know, things slowed down a bit and then 2012 seemed to be like a bit of a, of a comeback for you. 
did you ever start, I mean, and you won Elk Grove also last year, did you ever start to lose your confidence and, and your, you know, your belief that you could win at the, at the level you are now? Uh, you know, it, it was just um, a really different way of racing. You know, I was really, uh, especially with Jonathan Waters, I was really, he was really pushing me to go in the breakaway every day. Mm -hmm. Go in the break, go in the break, go in the break, be in the attack. So, and you know, that's really the kind of rider that I was before. You know, I was not patient. I didn't, I, I never liked to stay in the peloton and, and, and just wait for the end. I always wanted to be part of the race and then, and, and attack, you know, and be aggressive. And, and everybody, I think, knows me as a really aggressive rider. But since uh, 2012 and my injury, we flipped that all around and, and really with the, the sports psychologist that I talked to really and Paulo, uh, I really changed the way I'm thinking and now, you know, uh, I realize that uh, I, can, I, can, I can be part of the best of cycling and I think yesterday I showed that uh, it's possible, you know, for a Canadian rider, it's possible for a Canadian clean rider to perform at the highest level of cycling. Well, we saw that yesterday. I mean, you certainly picked the right moment to strike. At one point, you were right on the wheel of Samuel Dumoulin. I mean, here's a guy who was one at the Tour de France level, and you managed to pull off the perfect tactic and, and beat him. This has to do a lot for your confidence. Of course. You know, uh, like I said, it's going to change the path of my career. The way I look at the races now, mm. it's really going... Uh, you know, for, for, for the win, you know, uh, I am looking at two races that, uh, you know, I'm trying to perform not, I'm, I'm not trying to just do the race and then, you know, stay there. I'm, I'm really now trying to be uh, part of the winning move at the end. So, and, and, you know, I think yesterday I showed that I have the capacities and already last year at the Grand Prix uh, mm -hmm. uh, Quebec, Yes. You know, I, I got a 10th place, and really, uh, if, if you look on YouTube, uh, when I did my sprint in Quebec, I really got blocked, and I had to stop my sprint, so, you know, I know that uh, I could have done maybe a top five at that race, so already in my mind, you know, I, it gave me a lot of confidence, and now, you know, uh, I talk with a few people, uh, Gord Fraser also uh, motivated me, you know, at that mm. World Championship last year when he was director I had a good talk with him and uh, you know he, he, he really told me you know like Frank you, you got the power you, you deserve to be there so it, it's all about being confident and, and really actually uh, working really hard you know every day on every aspect as possible and being as much professional as, as you can be oh for sure yeah but also also you know the diet and uh it's been actually uh, one year that, uh, you know, exactly at this time of the year, last mm -hmm. year after my depression, I stopped drinking alcohol, you know, I'm, not, I'm really being careful with uh, all my diet and um, I did a little ex exception yesterday, you know, <laughs> I, I had a half a glass of champagne with the team. <laughs> for, for sure, but speaking of it changing your career, the team gave you an assignment yesterday and you delivered, I imagine that this opens a door for you, possibly a spot in a, in a Grand Tour. What are your thoughts on that? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I, um, you know, I told the team that I was really interested in uh, the Giro, and uh, mm -hmm. so we'll see. You know, I'm, 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 when I first signed with the team, you know, they, they asked me, okay, what do you want to do? So I said, well, I really, you know, I really would like to do the Ardennes Classic. And, and also try to do my first Grand Tour. So uh, we'll see, I can't really talk about that right now, but uh, hopefully uh, I will be part of a Grand Tour this year. Frank, that's really awesome. Congratulations again, continued success. Est-ce que tu veux ajouter une coupe de mots en français pour tous tes fans ici à Québec? Oui. Décris-nous la, la course, tes émotions un peu, puis euh, la confiance que tu as gagné euh, avec cette course. Oui, non, mais c'est sûr que Bon, comme je te disais, ça va changer le parcours de ma carrière. Et puis, euh, je pense que j'ai prouvé déjà, tu sais, on avait des signes euh, quand même que j'étais capable de perdre ce niveau-là. Puis euh, hier, vraiment, j'ai prouvé que je, je suis capable d'être euh, au plus haut niveau euh, du cyclisme mondial. Et puis, euh, je suis fier d'être un 
Canadiens, euh, Québécois, euh, <rire> euh, au plus haut niveau euh, en ce moment. Ben, félicitations, François. Continued success. We're proud of you. All the best. 